Again, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy has world-class throws. Look for his opponent to try to keep as far away from this man's clinch as possible, because if he gets a hold of you, the results are devastating. Well, if you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender, I can assure you of that. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Nagoya, Japan, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Coconut Creek Pelota, the Cyclone. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Big power shot there. Missed the mark. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Just missed with that right hand. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Oh! He heard him with that punch in the clinch. Back up to his feet. One underhook here. He grabs double underhooks here. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. He pummels out of double underhooks. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double underhooks now. Jockey in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right in the lead. This could be it right here. That's a big hook. Oh, solid jab. fight here. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh, straight right. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Oh, big knee to the body. Oh, he him. He's definitely blocked. 
30 seconds to go. Big this body shot. Body. Oh. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Hurt him with that right. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Catch your breath. straight down the middle. I need more of that. I want that. Brittany Palmer is in the building. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. How about that shin? Oh, powerful right leg kick. He's in a lot of trouble. Well, back to his feet here, Joe, but look at him. He is hurting for certain. That man is in a world of trouble. Look at that jab. Nice. Now they're both throwing with power. His opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Well, yeah, he hurt him a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's getting hit. Big shots. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, Joe, that cut is getting worse. Rated R looking nasty now. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. He's now back to half guard, and now he's working from full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Big, Big body shot, shot. To the body. Into full guard, nice reversal. Kimura, he's got a Kimura here. He's got that arm locked. This is gonna be it. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's a big one. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest. A two minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, the Cyclone. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration. And it's nice to see this fighter sharing the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here. And so